This is not a test. This is a public service announcement from the U.S. Department of the Safety and Well-Being of Laptops. I repeat, this is not a test. This is Billy. Billy just got a new laptop from his school. Hey, how's the new laptop, Billy? Oh, hey, mister. This new laptop's just swell. Ha <laughs> ha, that's just grand, Billy. But do you know how to properly take care of your new laptop? Well, of course, mister. Well, I see your laptop is not connected, Billy. That means you're draining the battery when you could be charging it. Ah, shucks, you're right. I might need that battery power later. That's quite all right, Billy. No harm done. Now listen up, and I will tell you what to do to be safe and smart. Well, that's it, Billy. Plug in your laptop when you're near an outlet. That way you have power for when you're not near one later. Hey, stop! Be careful. Someone is about to get badly hurt like that. Remember, Billy, make sure the power cord is not in anyone's way. Someone could trip and fall. Wow, we that was a close one. Thanks a lot. That would have been really bad. Uh-oh. This could lead to a bad situation. Oh, Billy. Yeah, mister? Billy, you're drinking over your laptop. And everyone knows that you're not supposed to eat or drink near your laptop. Oh, shucks, mister. This thing's ruined. I should have listened to you. Whoa, thanks, mister. No problem, Billy. I've got you covered. But promise me you won't eat or drink around it this time, OK? Oh, I won't, mister. I promise to treat this computer like a newborn baby and handle it with care. Scout's honor. Scout's honor. Now, Billy, that's not smart. <coughs> Guess you'll not be using that computer after all. At least not until after you've had your Cracker Jacks. Never leave your laptop open and unguarded even for a second. Looks like that creep just stole Billy's secret password. Oh jeez! I think that creep just stole my secret password. And it could have been worse, young man. That creep could have stolen the computer. Let's watch that again. Ah, uh, Shuckleberries is right. Kiss that computer goodbye. Whoa there, partner. Billy, that is not how one transports their laptop. What do you mean, mister? I'm careful with it. Well, if you don't shut down your machine, you not only waste precious battery life, but all of your files can be corrupted. Those files are important, Billy. You wouldn't want to lose them, would you? No, Mr. Sir, Mr. No, jolly gee heck no. 
will shut her down. Thanks for all your help, mister. Hey there, little pilgrim. We're not done here. Laptops must always be carried in a protective sleeve. Whoa! A protective sleeve! I always wanted one of these! Always use the sleeve. Now, how about putting that in your bag for safekeeping and out of sight? That sounds like a great idea, mister. I'm good to go and I feel like a million bucks. And you look like a million bucks too, Billy. A million bucks, kid. There you go, Billy. Way to go. This reality-based drama was paid for by the U.S. Department of the Safety and Well-Being of Laptops, funded in part by the Office of Homeland Security. Children should be accompanied by a parent or guardian when viewing such material as defined by Section 2A of the Manual for American Activities of the Americans for American Americas and for the Lobby for Relaxation and Exaxation of Transportation Administration, all rights reserved. Violators subject to fines of up to $2 and or lunchtime detention at 1010 East 10th Street, Tucson, Arizona. Just say no. Hugs not drugs. I am loved. Free to be you and me. Let's go Badgers. We got spirit. Yes, we did. Hey, who wrote this nonsense?